Hello everyone, it's Akatrius here and I welcome you to this new video. And today I want to talk to you guys about this new Link Summon mechanic which has just been teased and how it affects us Crystron players. So let's first look at, at, at this field. This is the new field uh, setup that we'll get with the new mechanic and you will see a lot of difference actually. So we have a new monster zone which is this one. This is the extra deck monster zone while this is the main deck monster zone. So, the first extra deck monsters can only be placed into your link monster zone, and you can only place monsters uh, into your extra deck monster zone. I mean, you can only summon extra deck monsters in your main monster zone if you have a link monster or your opponent has a link monster that has this one of these link markers um, linked to your zone. So this card has link mas uh, This link card has three link markers: one here, one here, one here. So that means that extra deck monsters can be summoned on this uh, space, on this space, and on this space. <coughs> so, um, this link monsters actually have no defense. They only have an 8k value and a link value. And they are summoned by basically um, sending monsters to the um, graveyard, which equal that link. So. This card has the summoning condition of two effect uh, of two or more effect monsters. This means that you have to summon three effect monsters or one link two effect monster plus one normal effect mon one general effect monster to get to link three. So if you have a link three, you can uh, and two other link uh, two other normal monsters or effect monsters, you can go for link five because the link adds to it. There are al already three link monsters added to it. So adding two more makes link five. Um, yeah, and as I said, they have no defense value. They cannot be sent in defense positions. So cards like enemy controller, except for the no, I don't think even that works. Book of Moon, Book of Eclipse, every all that shit doesn't work on the, on these link monsters. And here's like what you can do. Like this card, uh, this link monster has the link marker down. And this monster has the link markers left and right, so this is a link chain, you could say, which shows how you can actually use these link things to um, somehow set up your field. So how does this affect Crystrons? That is pretty easy because Crystrons will, ha will have this new main objective, which is disrupting the opponent's link zone. The first turn will still remain the same for us because we can still access Synchro with our Quan decks into uh, Quarian, Gundrax or Trishula. However, in our second turn we actually have to go for the Link because without the Link we are not able to make further plays and we need further plays to disrupt our opponent better. So that means that we will most likely just attack with a Trishula and then or our Quarian Gundrax and then go for the Link and set up our next disruption. So this Link will be an integral in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! It will um, set how the games work and will actually balance out the game a bit, I guess. However, people are already are already crying out loud for this card. Uh, this mechanic kills Yu-Gi-Oh. You cannot really play, and to some degree, I agree because some decks are really getting a really huge hit out of it, which is like synchro decks, like good luck summoning a Delta X or synchro. So. I mean, I mean the current Delta Axis Synchros aren't even that rewarding to summon as of right now, but with this mechanic, Delta Axis Synchro, oh my god, let's just nod. Um, but, this is a huge but. This mechanic has just been teased, so everything is still up to change, because that's what regularly happens if people are completely upset or if they've if Konami themselves see that this doesn't actually work the way they want, they will of course change it. However, it is also a very solid possibility that they'll change nothing because this mechanic may actually add a really nice um, flow into the new game, which actually slows down the game what we all in actually wanted because the game was actually going way too fast. So with this being said, I think that this mechanic might be great. However, I have, I myself have one big concern, which is the extra deck space, because this is the fourth uh, monster type we are getting in our, into our extra decks, 
and thinking about that it's pretty much I, I don't know what to think about a fourth um, extra deck type which is very mandatory for playing further it, uh, while many decks already struggle to actually have a 15 card extra deck because they have to have so many options. So the extra deck space is what I am thinking about the most but I don't know. Tell me your thoughts in the comments I guess and let's just discuss this further because I'm really interested in seeing what you guys think and yeah. Those were, were my thoughts, I also discussed this a bit in the Elysium, I'll link the Elysium down below as well and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this has been Akatrius and stay Ravened.